Hey kids, Don Cherry here. Gonna read you a little Christmas story. This is a great book. The Night Before a Canadian Christmas by Troy Townsend, illustrated by Jennifer Harrington. Here we go, kids. Twas the night before Christmas and all around the house. Not a creature was stirring except for a moose. <laughs> a moose, that's funny. When the lights had been hung in the front yard with care, no one had expected a moose to pass there. The children in Long John's were snug in their beds while visions of poutine danced in their head. Mom and her house coat turned on the TV and on came the hockey game on CBC. That's a beauty right there, eh? From the snow shovel driveway there came such a clatter. I leapt from the Chesterfield to see what was the matter. The moose had been spooked by something in the sky, something in the distance too far from my eyes. As the northern lights sparkled over the fresh fallen snow, the moose had fled the scene with my ski do in tow. <laughs> Look, there it goes. That's funny, eh? Mom pointed and screamed, but I didn't believe her. She said, Look, it's a sled pulled by eight flying beaver. With a bearded old driver and a big bright red toque, either it was Santa or I was a kook. <laughs> I've been called worse than that, I'll tell you kids. Faster than an oncoming CPR train, they hurtled towards us as he called them by name. Now Gretzky, now Trudeau, now Shania and Looney, on Bob and on Doug, on Suzuki and Tooney. Forget the chimney, cried Santa with a roar. There's smoke, so we'd better just use the back door. For all over Canada on this cold winter's night, for warmth, everyone had their fires alight. With a load full of toys to the back deck they flew, where they landed beside the old barbecue. Then Santa came in while the beavers took rest. It was then that I noticed how Santa was dressed. A turtleneck under a red couch and sweater. Don Cherry's tailor couldn't do better. Come on, <laughs> you gotta take that line, buddy, never mind. His pants were made of red polar fleece, embroidered with pictures of Canada geese. A huge sack of toys was slung on his back, like a cross-country skier equipped with a pack. I offered him some homo milk, said it wasn't any trouble, but he said he would prefer a nice warm double-double. From his head to his boots he was covered in snow. He had frozen eyelashes, it was turny below. He had fluffy white eyebrows with bright eyes underneath, and his beard had the appearance of a big white maple leaf. He had a lumberjack's physique, except for his pot belly, that shook when he laughed like a salad made of jelly. Oh, don't get me going. He put gifts in all the stockings and all around the tree. There were wonders there for everyone, everyone but me. There were snowshoes for the kids they could use on Christmas Day. To mommy gave a blanket which came from Hudson Bay. Then he handed me a present that I knew I was in luck. A brand new set of tire chains for my pickup truck. He touched his finger to his nose and just stepped into the night where the beavers were on the deck having a snowball fight. Hey, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> that's funny. He whistled and they all took their places at the sled. Then he took off through the sky at a streaking blur of red. And this is what he shouted as they up and flew away. Merry Christmas, Canada, and to all a good night, eh? I tell you, that's a great book, kids. You gotta get it and read it. Have some fun with it. The night before Canadian Christmas. Two thumbs up.